This is the gimbal that I got from hobbyking.com. It's very cheap and as you can see I was using the hobbyking metal uh, uh, the server and I was very disappointed about the how jittery that it is. Uh, so and also it doesn't have that the only this but it's raw and doesn't have the pitch where I was the other way. Anyway, so I went ahead and bought this the quadframe.com and bought this gimbal. And as the, the website stated, there's three servers they are recommending. And the one that was cheapest as I always try was the Emacs server. And the service was really good. And as a matter of fact, moving from up and down was a smooth enough for me to take it. However, the problem was it the when I do I'll show those clips when I do uh, the pitch. I believe that's the pitch, and it was jittering so much. I'll show the clips now. And you can see the clip from there is uh, so much cheering. So um, I tried it, the the article. Maybe it was the problem with the uh, power source. If I had a separate power for my uh, GoPro gimbal, I I hope I was getting the less jittery. But uh, I made this. It works really, really well. By the way, I think I'm gonna use it for the other purpose, but. I made this board and uh, it still didn't do uh, much of this. I can put a link on it that uh, what it is about having the extra uh, external power for my server. And um, but at this point, I didn't. It didn't help. So what I did is that I actually bought this Hyperion server, which was the the second recommendations. And everyone really happy about it, and it's very expensive server from my budget. Uh, but was um, it's HP DSI 11 SCB? It's a general purpose type digital server, and I am going to show the um, configuration that I did for DZI, DZI NASA. So I was using DZI NASA, and then it basically from the server directly connect to the DZI and i am very very happy about the result and i still have to do some um final or the little adjustment and also uh, as you may see that i actually <laughs> um crash it and uh, i'm pretty much sure that my the, the props are pretty much off balance but i can show you the uh, how stable they are um, with this the gimbal and only thing I did was that I put some foam underneath that's all I did and then this is just uh, for protecting with with this rubber without rubber actually it really doesn't change anything as far as the result goes but I just put in the rubber around it to protect my GoPro um, and one other thing that I did is I bought the gimbal for uh, the the legs uh, for this. There's two different types. They send sell gimbal. I bought this one, and you know, because I want to have this little uh, going forward. Because as you can see, if I do move forward, I actually see these legs uh, while I was do testing. So I bought this gimbal and tried to put as far as possible and I cut this the, the wood frame and basically I just attached to with the uh, you see the, <laughs> the the jelly 
um, that someone, everyone recommended. I put it there. And because this is a little farther than what the frame can support it, I actually using the, um, not using this, the methods to hold it a little stable. So that's what I did. And in spite of the, the frame itself has some vibrations, uh, this gimbal works uh, pretty well. So I can show this the, the result. Thanks. So in order for me to, um, to prove that when the frame is moving, the gimbal um, does to compensate the, the the other way, I put this the frame in front of the camera, and I actually put the little forward, and then what I actually did is that you can see I put the flight test logo, as I really love about. And uh, and hopefully it shows up. Uh, actually, it I took a look at the clip already, so it does show up that the um, the gimbal tries to be in stable mode while frames are moving around. So hopefully that shows up the the explains how uh, the gimbal works well. Okay. <laughs>